So about 10 years ago, I bought this Canon T3i, also known as the Rebel T3i or the 600D. I love this camera. It works great. Recently got a brand new lens for it. Uh, but what I'd like to do is I would like to use this as a webcam because uh, I have a webcam, but I don't like it very much. Now, you can get video from the USB port here, and I've watched many videos on it, and I've tried that, and I can get it to work, but not great. But there is a mini HDMI out port here. So the other day, I bought a simple USB-C uh, to HDMI capture card for like $15. So I'd like to try to use that, uh, that to capture videos from this as a webcam. Problem is when you turn it on and you turn it to video mode, you can get rid of pretty much everything but that white square in the middle there. So that's not good. Uh, and one of the options to get rid of that is to add some special software, Magic Lantern, which is a open source application to go on your phone. Now, I've heard of Magic Lantern before, and I always thought it'd be neat to try out, but I never saw the need to mess with my camera if it was working okay. I always thought that Magic Lantern was a custom firmware, and it's not. What it is, is it's an application that actually runs off the SD card, so it doesn't replace the current firmware, but it's like an extra application. I have not done this yet. I am following the instructions as I record this video, but I've watched a few videos and read over instructions, and so I'm just gonna give you a quick guide on this. One of the first things people tell you to do is you have to see what firmware you're running. So for this to work, I need firmware version 1.0.0. Two, when I turn on the camera, the way you find that out is you press the menu button and that should bring up the menu screen here and then you can dial over. So the first issue I had when following instructions was finding out what firmware I have. All the instructions I watched said, press the menu button and then scroll over to the wrench here, the third wrench and see what version your firmware is. And I don't have a third wrench. Well, what they neglect to tell you is you have to be in the right mode. And I just figured this out just by trial and error. I just turned it all the way here to ADP. And now if I press the menu button, you can see I have three wrenches. And if I go to the last one here, you can see I'm running version 1.0.1. Uh, so that's already an issue because as I've said, I need version 1.0.2 for Magic Lantern to work on this camera. So I have to find the firmware from Canon to upgrade my camera to get Magic Lantern working. So going to the Canon website, the newest firmware is version 1.0.3. So I'm too low and that's too high. So I Googled it again and I found a website, canondriver.net, and it has the firmware I need. So here it is. You can see the firmware is 10 years old. It must have came out just after I got my camera because I got mine. Well, I got mine in 2012. So the camera probably came out after but didn't have that firmware. But there's a zip file to download and inside that zip file is a few PDFs in different languages on how to install the firmware and a file that is the firmware itself. So the first thing I need to do is take an SD card and put it in here and make sure it's formatted properly. I'm sure this one's formatted fine, but I'm going to format it with the camera. So I'm going to put it in. I'm going to press the menu button here and I am going to scroll over to the first wrench here and you can see the third option down is format and I will format that SD card. Formatting just finished. So I'm going to turn the camera off and take out the SD card and I'm going to put that into my computer. And all I should have to do is copy over that one binary firmware file to the root directory. So not in a subdirectory, but to this. So again, I did that unzip from the website, it had the PDFs, and then there's a file for this particular camera. It's called CCF11102FIR. And I'm just going to drag and drop that into the root directory of the SD card and safely eject it, grab it from my computer. Let's go ahead and put it into the camera. Now, according to the PDF that came with the firmware, I am going to once again press the menu button. I am going to go to that third wrench and all the way down to where it says firmware. In my case, again, I have 1.0.2 installed. I'm going to click that and it says current version. Do I want to update? I'll click OK and hopefully, again, I've never done this before. It's going to look on the SD card, find that firmware and install it. it took maybe 10 seconds. It seems to have found it. Found it. I am going to go ahead and click on it, OK, and I'm going to let it 
finish doing its thing. Okay, so the camera is at about 75%. It's been going for about a minute and a half now, so I'm gonna assume that this takes about two minutes, I would say. Uh, but while it's doing that, I'm gonna go to the Magic Lantern website and just search for my camera. And again, these cameras have multiple names. I always call mine the T3i. Technically, it's the Rebel T3i, uh, or also known as the 600D. I'm gonna find that. Again, on it, it has installation uh, instructions. <laughs> it has installation instructions or directions, whatever you wanna call it. And, uh, 98%, 99%, 100% done. And update is complete, okay. Camera seems to be working, that's good. Now, uh, again, it says that I need version 1.0.2 on my camera, and it's to make sure that the SD card is formatted from the camera, which I just did, so that should be okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the files from the Magic Lantern website, remove the, the file that I just put on the SD card, and then I'm going to copy over the files from uh, the Magic Lantern website. Okay, here's the files that are on the SD card. Uh, automatically makes two directories, and then this is the firmware from Canon. I'll delete that just to make sure it doesn't cause any problems. And over here is the zip file that I downloaded. I am just going to select everything in this zip file and drag it into the root directory of the SD card. And then I will safely eject that, and I will put that back into the camera. Now hopefully, this time I can go to a firmware upgrade and it should find the Magic Lantern software and install it. So I'm gonna press the menu button and I'm already on the firmware screen here. I'm going to choose that. I'm going to choose OK and see if it finds the Magic Lantern software. And there we go. Uh, that only took a couple of seconds. And it says restart your camera. And I will do that. I'll turn it off. And I'll turn it back on. One thing you do want to do on the SD card now, it has created a folder, ML, and then under that, another folder called logs, and there are some ROM files in there. So it pulled the original firmware off the camera, so you can make a copy of that. You should back it up in case you ever want to go back to the original. But again, uh, I need this SD card in there for the Magic Lantern software to run. If I don't put in the card that has the Magic Lantern software on it, the camera should just run as normal. So I don't see why you would need to re redo it, but you do want to back up those files in case there's a problem down the line. Uh, but let's go ahead and see what the Magic Lantern software can do. So again, uh, from what I've read and watched online, I just tapped the uh, delete button a couple times, a little trash can here. And look, now we're in some special software here where we can go through and we have a whole bunch of options that we didn't have before. So again, my goal is to remove all these overlays from my screen while I'm doing using the camera as a webcam. Now there is a button here uh, that allows me to remove overlays. If I do info, that turns off that. And actually now that Magic Lunch is installed, it's gonna give me all these extra options. But if I hit info again, most of it goes away, but that stays there. Now you might also notice uh, these extra dots. That's if autofocus is on. So I turn off autofocus, get rid of all those little squares. But again, hitting info, I can go through all this, but that white square always stays there. So how do we get rid of that? We're gonna go back into Magic Lantern software by hitting the garbage can here. And then there's an option right here. So you go over to where it's the picture of the camera with the little display. There's an overlay option. I'm gonna click that. And you have different options. And I'm just gonna say always. And now if I go back out to the camera, you can see they're all missing. Now, if I hit info, Yep, it doesn't bring up anything. So I have no information on my screen, but I can now use this as a webcam through HDMI. Well, I'm really glad I didn't break my phone. Watching videos on this, it seemed very unlikely that you're gonna hurt the phone. Um, or phone, it's a camera. <laughs> I didn't brick my camera that I love. It has newer firmware on it and it has the Magic Lantern software, which is awesome. Again, it's something I've always been interested in, but I, I didn't wanna mess up my camera and I, all the functionality I needed was already there. But now there's more functionality, things I may not have thought of, not have thought of, things I may not have thought I needed are now there so I can look through them and maybe I can improve some other things I've done. But I think it's gonna be great that I can use this as a webcam because I've bought a few webcams over the years and I've always been unhappy with them. And you never know what the quality is gonna look like until you get them. Uh, and I know the picture quality with this is awesome. So uh, yeah, now I just need to test out that, uh, USB-C to HDMI capture card to see uh, how well the capture goes off a $15 device. But uh, I thank you for joining me in this journey. And as always, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.